Faces of a Woman, just released on Netflix, and I have been absolutely buzzing to watch this movie. People have been banging on about Vanessa Kirby's performance for months. And I wanted to see, is it as good as people have been making it out to be, or is it overrated? Overrated? No chance. Wow. What a fucking performance that lady put on. Front runner, Oscars? Yes. In my eyes, clear winner. Best performance I've seen out of any leading actress in any movie over the past two years. Easy, my winner for best actress. The performances in this movie are quality. The whole cast put in absolute shifts. Ellen Bernstein, who plays Vanessa Kirby's mother in the movie, is outrageous. Shia LaBeouf also puts on a very good performance. However, it was an uncomfortable viewing because the character he played and the allegations that have come out in regard to his personal life just seemed so similar. So watching his character develop on screen was a very uncomfortable watch. But the acting for this movie is 100% the highlight and Vanessa Kirby, the main attraction, is the one. She is the one. No, not Neo, but the one. What a performance. The opening half an hour of this movie is outstanding. The tension, the intensity of the first half an hour is just so good. So good. And I really wished that the opening half an hour extended the rest of the movie. Because even though the first half an hour is unreal, the movie as a whole just didn't, didn't blow me away. The opening scenes, the way they were shot with a handheld camera, made it feel intense, made it feel very personal. But once the baby had died, that didn't need to carry on in my eyes. I felt like it made the opening scenes feel less intentional and just be a byproduct of the performances from the actors. So the direction for me was the main concern in the movie. The main thing that I disliked was the direction. I didn't think it was that great. I felt like the script was solid. The story was okay. It is a story about grief. It just shows how different people deal with grief. The way she develops her character throughout the eight months and the way she slowly begins to accept the death of her daughter is written really well. So I thought the script was decent enough. The direction wasn't up to par. Another thing that I thought weren't up to par was the score of the movie. Howard Shaw was the man behind the music and normally when his name's attached to something, it's normally going to be great, right? But this was a letdown. It felt very overpowering and it just didn't mesh well with the movie. I felt like the, the score was too loud at times. It didn't allow you to be more invested in the performance of the actress when she was on screen. So the score was another letdown for me. There's a couple of things I want to speak about in regards to certain scenes. The scene in the courtroom at the end of the movie is just such a powerful performance. Again, the pain behind Vanessa Kirby's character's eyes is marvellous. The performance in that scene alone should win her an Oscar, right? The opening half an hour and that scene there are what settles her being the front runner for me. Them two scenes are outrageous. The end scene is one which may need to be explained to some. You may get the gist of it because it is self-explanatory really. But it's the way she planted the seeds, put them in the fridge, and the end scene with the supposed daughter is basically showing that she has overcome the grief. The grief is now gone. The spreading of the ashes before that scene was a very clear indication of that. And I thought the ending was nice. I thought it was a good ending to a good movie. A good movie, an outrageous performance from Vanessa Kirby, not one that I'm going to run and watch again quickly, but the performance alone deserves a watch. 
It's available to stream for free on Netflix. I would 100% go check it out. Especially if you're like me and you're a fiend for great acting. If you've seen the movie, please let me know your opinion. Let me know your thoughts. Um, thank you for watching. Peace out.